just catching my breath after mowing <laughs> this and over in there with, with that um, still a bunch needs to go over the weed eater but Kirk can handle that um, yeah it's Mr. C's job to uh, go around with the weed eater I mow the lawn he weed eats um, Yeah, some days this is a lot, and I did that, so I'm on, almost on the end of my rake, uh, break, pardon me, and then I'll be raking. But I thought while I was finishing up my break, I would show you our, the monstrosities growing in, well, at least the one monstrosity that's growing in my garden, and took over. Okay, I've had cherry tomatoes before, but none that did this. It's huge. We're having a weird, well, anyways, in our patch, a few other people have too, but here in Wainwright, we're having a weird growing season because I'm 5'3", and at the top of there, th this cherry tomato whining monstrosity is as tall as I am. And then it's time to go through the carrots again and, whoops, sorry, see if there's any in there. I've got some pansies in there, but uh, I'm going to have to rearrange a little bit here. Uh, beets in the back I'm going through tonight too as well. And it's looking like we have some peas that, short plants, but it looks like there's lots of pods on there. It's just been so cool. Uh, my rosemary's down in the corner and completely hid by the ever-growing rhubarb. More pansies. And this is the lemon balm. I've cut it back once already, got stuff dried out in the house. Um, but it's growing really, really well. Uh, besides, it is some basil that uh, I've just let go to flower, because it's kind of pretty. Um, Anyways, it wasn't the lemon balm wasn't supposed to overwinter. Well, I had I put a flower pot over it with a rock or something on top, and it overwintered. So I transplanted it over here. This is the Italian parsley in here, and I've trimmed it back twice at uh, once. Pardon me, and it's coming back full. I'm gonna have to cut it back again, and then. <laughs> We have, there we go, one beefsteak tomato there, and I pulled the dumb. Everything's overcrowded because I forgot these tomato plants can grow huge. Oh, there we go. There's a better one. Let's see if I can find it with the camera. Right in here. Uh, yeah, there it is. More tomatoes, more beefsteak tomatoes. So they're coming along. Oh, got a couple in here too. Yeah, right there. So that's cool. And then my sunflowers, as always. The there's beans. I think those are wax beans right in there, and they're just overcrowded by the tomatoes. And this is green beans, and they're in here. More sunflowers. And the strawberries we've been picking at and getting berries. That one's not quite ready. And the mint, the peppermint plant that's growing in here. We've got a bunch of weeding to do over here. But yeah. And that's the garden. Ooh, the sun came back out. Yeah. This is the Creighton Homestead garden patch for this year. Got a little bit of zucchini at the back there. You can see, no, you can't really see through the garbage there. A uh, bunch of pallets that we're going to be turning into some stuff hopefully very soon. But yeah, so. Well, Mr. C's out fishing. I'm tending to the yard and enjoying the peace and quiet. And uh, I hope everybody's having a beautiful Thursday evening because it's nice to get out from underneath the rain. Uh, this is Mrs. C signing off. Peace, love, and happiness for everybody.